welcome to One Mommy Scrapping. I am Scrapping Amy, and today I am working on my very first page in my Journal Your Christmas album. Unlike previous years where I used a regular two ring six by eight album, I'm actually making my own memory book this year, and I am using the Tonic Studios My Memory Book line uh, to create the pages and the base pages and everything. So this is the one that I'm actually using. It's very close to the six by eight, which means it's a size and orientation I'm comfortable with. So when I'm creating something brand new, I'll still be in kind of familiar territory. I also use their spine die. This has a whole bunch of different sizes of these ticket shapes. And I have used the largest two. The largest one I have made, I'm gonna move the frame or the spine off here. The largest one I have pre-cut a whole bunch of pages and actually made the book, the outside of the, the covers and spine and put together and I've done, done that. I've also cut out out of, I've got a whole stack of them over here, of the eight and a half by 11 paper, this part. Now it does not have a fourth side and there is reasoning for that, which I'll go into later. And then I also have the smaller set and then each of these has a page that is it's kind of like so everything's like matted properly and it's really cool how it does it. I'm gonna set these off to the side. So first things first, I have cut out that um, piece and what I need to make sure that I do is I keep my page orientation, I need my smaller scissors, keep my page orientation the same way. So this is actually gonna be day one and it is the, your stating of your Christmas intentions. Now I am doing Journal Your Christmas, which is a class taught by Shamel Lane. And I have done this for a number of years and have really, really been surprised at how much it's changed my outlook on Christmas. Okay, so I'm back. So I've trimmed this down. The reason why they leave that side open is because that's how you're helping to make the actual spine. So originally when I cut out of the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, I start here. For the pages, I stop here, but for the spine, I went all the way over. And then that doubles up and gives you a little bit more added strength as well. I'm using just some black cardstock that I had uh, picked up at Michael's. It's the 300 GSM. You want a nice heavy weight for your pages. I decided that I was going to go ahead and ink. I kind of went back and forth. Sometimes, I mean, as much as I love inking, I don't always do it for Journal Your Christmas. But for these memory books, I've really, really liked uh, how they look inked. So almost done. All right, so you'll notice I'm not in the book yet. I have discovered that I like, I find it a lot easier to make the pages first then put them in the album. Now, when it comes to adhering, I use Redline Tape and the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive Craft Glue. Now, full disclosure, I did receive some of these um, uh, supplies from Tonic Studios. They sent them to me to try out, and others I have com bought completely on my own. Um, the This ticket, that's what I call it. It looks like a ticket to me. This ticket set is one that I have purchased on my own because I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. <laughs> so I am going normally, normally I don't tend to use the red line tape except to adhere the actual pages to the book, but this is going to be in the cover. And since the cover is going to be used a lot, I wanted to make sure that I had, I'm like, I need my pokey tool. I wanted to make sure that it would be nice and sturdy. So the collection I'm using is Dear Santa by Cartabella. And I tend to go back and forth some years. I'm very, oh, it helps if I press this down a little bit more. My finger doesn't quite do it, especially with this texture paper. Um, so I tend to go back and forth between a more traditional Christmas colors and then more whimsical ones. Why? I feel like I'm gonna stab my paper. I don't wanna do that. There we go. And then this last one, Whoop. whip it around. And now let's add in, oh, I forgot I had this little short piece. Add in some of the liquid glue. Now I use a variety of glues. You know me, I'm a, I love my ATG and I love my art glitter glue, but the art glitter glue comes out with such a fine tip 
this is a little bit bigger. It's not a lot bigger, but it's enough that it actually makes it a whole lot easier to get enough glue out. So I want to make sure that I have centered is the wrong word, but it's the only word I can come up with. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. All right. Now, first page is going to be a pocket. So I have taken the um, extra little piece that I would have thrown away from the eight and a half by 11 sheet. I just went ahead and cut that next size ticket down. So I need to go and cut it very close to these little dots that are there. Now, I do not intend to have the pocket be that tall. When I cut them, I do not, I make them a little bigger than what I want. So this is the first tag that's going to go in there. And this is from the scrapbook.com. Let's see if I have it right here. Yeah, this is the scrapbook.com uh, tag set. And this is the third largest one. Now I have, if, if you have followed me for any length of time, you know I'm an anti-tag person, unless it's Christmas. If it's Christmas, I'm okay with tags, 100%. So what I'm going to be doing is going to be like this. So I think what I want to do is go ahead and just, oh, you know what, I know what I can do. I'm going to use some of this. This is going to be completely sealed up. Why do I always do it so it's like slightly off? All right. So let's start with this. Oh. Now, I don't always use the Teflon bone folder. Blah, 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 blah. I could not say that. Teflon bone folder to flatten my glue. However, this is Cartabella paper, which is textured, which I love, but I also know that I don't always adhere things quite as well as I should sometimes. And th things have come off before. So, and I just realized I never actually, never, you know, oh, I didn't ink it either. Huh, well, you know, this is great. <laughs> I'm off to an absolutely fabulous beginning. And I've decided I am not stopping this recording anymore. I've done it enough. So let's put this on. And then I'm just going to go trim that. All right, so now I have this pocket ready. I'm going to use the eighth of an inch red line tape. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm using the liquid glue. I want to use the liquid glue because when it dries, it's not going to be sticky anymore. I want to make sure I am, because this, if I put the tag in with the red line tape or the score tape, then it has the possibility of uh, sticking to that on the inside. So it's a pocket. So like I tell my third graders when we do our lap books, leave it as a pocket. If you go and use all four sides, it's going to be a patch, and that's not what you want. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get that in there. All right, so this now, the pocket, oh, I'm crooked. That's great, don't want a crooked pocket. And it's really off center. Let's see if I can do this. All right, there we go. So the page itself is done. I'm going to set it aside and start working on the tag. So step one, ink that sucker because let me tell you, if you forget to ink the tag, then it's just hard to go back and do it. I'm one that is like, oh, let's ink everything. And then I forget that one thing. And I'm, I look at the page and I'm like, what in the world goes there? So I've cut this out, cut the little hole, um, and then I, since I'm writing on this, I want it to just be some plain paper. And uh, for something that's supposed to be plain paper, it's really great that I'm getting smudges of all sorts on it. I figure after I get the writing done, it's not going to matter so much. I am going to lightly ink this as well. Now this particular rectangle is from my favorite things. It is one of their stacks. I think it's the second 
Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah. The My Favorite Things A2 Rectangle Stacks 2. And it's also the third largest from that. Okay. Uh, there it is. I think I've lost my adhesive again. Now, I will be going back and doing the writing on this a little bit later off camera. But I just want to get it decorated. Alrighty. So... I chose this one because I knew I could get a nice frame to it, but I also wanted space up here. Now, before I do anything else, let me grab my tweezers. The um, tag die set even comes with the little rings. Okay, so let's start with putting in, or at least taking out the ribbon so I kind of have an idea of how much I want. I, whoa, okay, really? Really? You know, come out like that? All right. I guess I know what I'll be doing when I'm done filming. It won't be editing, will it? <laughs> All right. So, I am not going to go through and do a lot of explaining for Chamel's prompts because it is a paid class. If you have not signed up for it, please sign up if you think making a Christmas album is something you would enjoy doing. I'll be honest, I used to hate doing my Christmas albums, but with this class, I've started really enjoying it. I'm going to fix the top parts later. started really enjoying it. So, this is the first year in quite a few... I've been very excited for Christmas. I think it's because I know as long I know the whole world seems to be burning around us, but I don't have to go do things. I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much. Let me pull this out. I have a very adorable puppy sitting right here. I need just a couple more things on here before I start writing. And I am using these epoxy, this is epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. Right. One right there. And let's look at what we have for embellishments. I really like that joy heart. I think I want to put it on here. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I know. I was going to add ribbon and gold. So I have this gold card, glitter card, and it is Tonic Studios. They're Craft for Perfect in gold dust. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I'm like, I lost my ruler, but it's down there and it doesn't measure that well, anyways, because. It doesn't. So let's see here. One tick shy of five and a quarter. So one tick shy of five. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like this. And we're just going to glue it straight down. And I will just trim off what's left. There we go. All right. My husband just got home, so my dog is quite happy. And that's crooked. So let's see if I can attempt to cut off a bit from the other side and have it not be crooked. That's much better. I do that a lot lately. So this just adds a bit of a finished edge to it. And I am actually going to let it dry like that. And underneath, let's use this. We are also going to put 
put some race. And chop it right there. And chop it right there. There we go. So my Merry Manifesto. Now I want to go ahead and look at these things that I have. I'm going to have some chipboard up here too. And some stickers. Look at stuff everywhere. I kind of want to go ahead and use that big Christmas word. How many pairs of scissors does one need to make a Christmas album? Apparently if you're me, you need three. Knowing me, I probably will have another one somewhere. Come on. Come out of there. Thank you. So, okay. There we are. So, what I think I'm going to do is put Christmas on there and then heat emboss maybe 2020. Oh, are there numbers in this? That would be a good idea too. Well, of course there are numbers. That would be easy. Okay, let's just quickly get the lid back on there. And we're going to go with Christmas like that. Oh, I do have these though. This would work, I think. Okay, there we go. My Merry Manifesto Christmas 2020. So this is going to go into the book. All right, now it's time to actually put this in the album. I'm going to take this out. What will probably happen is there'll be another tag potentially for day two that will also go in here with it. So step one is step one is clear some space off. So give me one moment and let me do that. All right. Now that I am a little cleaner here, I was cleaning things up and found the little heart that I wanted to use. So we are just going to overlap the the two patterns with the little black in the middle. All right, now to put this on, this is gonna go on the inside of the cover and I will start with red line tape. There we go. All right, remove the stabbing possibility now. All right, next step is to add the glue. Then line it up. Oh, this is where I'm already messing it up. No, please don't tell me I've just messed up the front cover again. You have no clue how many times I have tried to make the bones of this book. Oh, come on. Let me just tell you that red line tape, it sticks. Ah! Come on. Okay. Phew. Okay, we're going to try that again. <laughs> Told you, everything's an adventure with me. If I was smart, what I should have done is put the tape on that. But, you know, I'll forget by the time it's time to do the back cover, let me tell you. All right, dear Lord, please let me not screw this one up now. Okay. Hello, dear puppy. Ah. All right, I'm a little whoppy jawed at the bottom. We'll save that, but. Cut that little bit of a corner off. It's not anything that people are really gonna notice. And here is day one. I think I will be going back and gluing those letters down just to make sure. So tomorrow I will be back with day two. It will probably be, like I said, just a simple tag, um, maybe with some photos. I don't know. It depends on what the prompt is. And 
then I will keep doing so a couple days from now we'll be doing the next page here so I hope you guys enjoyed this like subscribe comment ring the bell everything I'm supposed to ask you to do because apparently I'm a fancy youtuber now <laughs> hope you guys all have a lovely day and Merry Christmas bye